Hello, I'm Grady Edwards, a Digital Integration Specialist with Horry County Schools, and today we will be exploring Padlet. Padlet is primarily used as a web-based program, but it can also be added as an extension through the Chrome Web Store. Today we're going to be looking at Padlet primarily for its function to serve as a collaborative piece. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also give us feedback by clicking the pop-up pop cards in the upper right hand corner. Once you've successfully logged in to Padlet and created a username and password, you should come to a page that looks like this, and this is going to be your dashboard page, and there's a couple different things you can do here. Now, since I've already made quite a few Padlets, you'll see some of my examples listed below. This is where you can return to your Padlets uh, to look back on them, where you can uh, still join the Padlets. The Padlets are live uh, unless you obviously uh, turn off the uh, su submission acceptance. Um, but for the most part, I just leave mine wide open just in case there's anything anybody wants to add and reflect on. But before we talk about all that, let's talk about what we can actually do from this dashboard page. You'll see here right up the top, nice little uh, links and or buttons rather. Um, you can make a new Padlet, which we'll, we'll review here in just a second. You can join a Padlet. So if your students are, are looking to actually uh, get in your Padlet, you can give them a link and they can go right into your Padlet page. Or you can view for, um, the gallery options and the template options that are there for you. There's been a lot of Padlets that have already been created on a lot of different categories, subjects, topics. So it might be in your um, interest to take a look at some of those options there. Also, in, the nice thing about Padlet is most of the um, free uh, features or the free version gives you a lot of different options that you can use. Um, so it's not something where you really need to upgrade to unleash its full potential. A lot of the cool things you can do with it are already free. You'll also see in the recent category, you can see your uh, made Padlets, the shared Padlets. So the nice thing about Padlet 2 is, like I said earlier, you can share it with quite a few different people. And um, we'll go over this in just a minute, but you can uh, decide whether you want those people to be administrators, collaborators, uh, or just view only. So a lot like the, the sharing principles with the Google Apps, you can do a lot of the same things uh, with, your, with your Padlet. So let's go ahead and get started with um, actually taking the time to create a Padlet. And to do that, it's very simple. You just go to Make a Padlet. And the cool thing about um, Padlet as well, it gives you quite a few different options of what you want your uh, banner or your page to actually uh, look like. So most of the time, and, and what I'll use, uh, like I said, 99% of the time will be this, this wall feature. And this is can also serve um, kind of just as a, a collaborative uh, type of interactive uh, whiteboard where students can add all different types of files, whatever really um, they want to add, they can, they can do so right here within the wall. Um, I've played around with some of the canvas stream and grid, but the other one that I use quite, quite often is the shelf. Um, and I like that too as well because it kind of can serve as like a back channel where students can post um, questions or they can post um, any materials they find. Uh, right to that Padlet page under different categories. Um, but if you're a beginner, if you're just getting started with Padlet, I would probably recommend this wall section. You hit select, and your Padlet is started. So, um, and the nice thing about Padlet too is the design features and the editing features, um, quite a few different things you can do. So let's take a look. First, um, Padlet gives you the option to obviously uh, title your wall. So you can do that right over here, and we'll call it Test 1. And Made with Love, sure, that'll work. And we can put that right underneath. And this is where you can obviously write the description. You have a choice of uh, quite a few different wallpapers. Um, and if you don't like the, the options you have here, you can come down to More. And you can see there's a ton of options for you to choose, uh, depending on what the topic or theme of uh, what your Padlet may be about. So let's just stick with the Christmas theme since it's pretty close to Christmas. And um, so now that we have the title and description and our wallpaper, we can just go to next. Now this is um, pretty important because this is where you can um, determine um, who you want into your Padlet and um, what rights you want to give contributors uh, to your Padlet. So let's go over um, a couple of those things here. So you can make your Padlet um, private 
password protected, secret, which is pretty similar to like the unlisted feature in YouTube. If you don't want um, your YouTube video listed, that's kind of the same thing as the secret option or public. Now, most of the time, I just I just choose um, public because I don't believe there'd be too many people around going to check out Padlets. Um, but if you're you know into security or you want to increase your security, definitely check out this private or password protected um, options. So um, once you've decided well, what you want your privacy setting, you can um, decide what your uh, collaborators, what access they have or what right they ha or rights they have. So you do that here. You can do can read, which is like the view only in our Google suites. You can do the, the can write, which is the one most often teachers um, teachers use if they're just looking to you know, do like an exit slip or a check-in or just have students um, collaborate. Or you do, can do can moderate. Now this will give the kids full editing rights, but it's, I kind of like um, using this option when I want kids to talk back and forth actually on this channel or on this, um, on this wall if the kids want to talk back and forth. Um, they Sure, they can edit each other's things, but usually they're pretty good about um, just um, replying back and forth and um, things of that nature. But for 99% of what you're going to do with Padlet with your students, I would definitely um, select this can write option. Once you've selected that, you can come to here and you can add contributors. So if you want um, your a co-teacher to be in or an instructional coach or whatever it is, if you just want to add another contributor, you can insert the um, emails or usernames um, here. Once you're done with all that, you can click next. And that's all it is. Then you can start posting. So when you explain this to your students, you can come down here to this little plus, and this is your post. So as a teacher, you can post a question or whatever, whatever your, your heart desires. You can also put a description here if you choose to. The great thing about Padlet is your students will find this too. They can make posts like this just as easy. The post can be anonymous. You can have them put their name attached to it, whatever you want to do. But they can add any type of file they choose. So if I go down here to the Add Attachments, you see they can search a picture from the web. They can search anything from the web. They can also download any file they choose to. That's MP4, MP3, can be a doc, can be a PDF, whatever it is. Or they can simply take a photo from their webcam right here um, so they can put a face to, to their work. Um, but I think that's good. That's, that's the kind of the introduction to Padlet or getting started with Padlet. I'd hugely recommend it. As a former classroom teacher, I really enjoyed working with it. Uh, maybe one more thing I'd like to go over is the share option as well. You can hit share um, and you see these options back up here, but you can also just go to share, uh, export, embed if you choose to, copy the link to your Padlet, uh, and then post the Padlet uh, link into your Google Classroom so the kids can get it uh, nice and easy. I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.